I have a lot of Ryobi uh, tools. I like them because they are convenient, and it's really convenient to use the same battery over and over. Uh, I bought a couple of these uh, big ones. These are the 9 amp hour high output uh, batteries. I bought two of them, and that was about a year and a half ago. One of them's gone bad. So, I needed a replacement. These are 160 bucks a piece at Amazon or on Home Depot. But these are only 40. So I decided to try one of these. I think they're 50 now, but they were 40 when I got it, which was a month ago. Um, so I, I decided to try one of these. I mean, come on, that's a big, pretty big savings. I'm not confident that it's really a 9 amp hour. And I'm pretty confident that it's not high output. But we're going to test this scientifically and find out. First off, let's weigh them. Here is the Ryobi brand name battery, which is somewhat better appointed on the outside. So there's going to be a bit of a weight difference just because of the case. In general, though, batteries with higher capacity weigh more. So the weight matters. And this one weighs, we'll call it two and three quarters, no, two and five eighths. All right, and here is the clone battery. And it weighs significantly less, like two and three-eighths. So there is a weight difference here, and that by itself is suspicious. I have here two fully charged batteries. This one is the real Ryobi, and this one is the clone. You see the LEDs are not as nice, but doesn't matter. All right, what we're going to do is uh, put it in this Ryobi uh, uh, air compressor and run them until the batteries are dead. I have this big hose on here, which is the hose I use, because it helps increase the capacity of the tank and it's going to reduce the number of cycles that we're going to have to do. The, uh, by the way, this is a nice compressor. It's convenient, it's easy, it uses these batteries but the tank is small so even on a car tire if a car tire is empty it's going to take three or four uh, charges just to fill the tire which is disappointing but it's better than the little chargers that you get that run off of 12 volts that don't have a tank at all anyway here we go this is cycle number one cycle one cycle number two this is cycle three. Okay, this is cycle four. This is cycle five. Okay, this is six. This is seven. This is eight. Alright, this is nine. This is gonna be ten. Alright, that was ten. This is eleven. Alright, that's... This is twelve. Okay, that was 12, and boy, it was working. Let's see if it can get a 13. Okay, let's see what the battery says. It says it only has one bar, but we're gonna go for 13. So, 13, I don't think it's gonna make it. Okay, I believe we're dead. That, so that is 12 and uh, 10 pounds. All right, now we're going to try, I'll set this over here. By the way, what does the light say? Oh, it shows no lights now. Hmm. Never seen a Ryobi show, no lights. But it is discharged, so that's a valid reading. Okay, the clone battery made it through uh, 12 full charges, full, and uh, then it died about 10 pounds into the 13th cycle of the air compressor. Now we have a real Ryobi, far more expensive battery. This is cycle number one. Okay, this is gonna be cycle number two. This is gonna be three. This is four. This is five. This is six. All right, this is seven. This is eight. This will be nine. This is 10, 11. All right, here comes 12. OK, 
Okay, that was 12, which ties us with this battery now. Let's see how far we can go. So this is 13. That was 13. We've clearly passed the uh, clone battery. We're going to go with 14. This will be 15. That was 15, and we can clearly hear that it is getting tired. But it isn't done. I'll remind you, this battery only made it through 12 full ones. All right, now we're up to 16. Well, it completed 16. How much more has it got? So this is 17. That was 17, and we've still got more. If it completes 18, I'm going to stop because that's 50% more than this. All right, that was 18, and I'm not going to do another one because this battery, right, I think if I, if I don't drain it all the way, I think this battery will hold up better, will last me longer. Now, bear in mind, this battery is a year and a half old. This battery is brand new. It's, it might have had three cycles on it since I've had it. This one's had uncountable many. I want to show you something. First off, you, you'll notice that the tone of the compressor, it's running much faster with this battery than with this battery. That indicates that this one can supply more current. It doesn't necessarily mean that it has more charge, but we just proved that it had at least 50% more charge because it did 18 full cycles and was still going, this one did 12 plus a fraction, a tiny fraction of the 13th cycle. If you look closely, here's something else. Look at these contacts. They're textured. That's a charging one. But this is a discharge contact. It's got some texture to it. And it's very flat. Um, I, I think it costs more to make. Look at this one. This is just your straight up shiny metal. Well, it's pretty flat too, but you're not going to get as good a contact with this, this steel as you do with whatever this obviously softer metal is that's textured. So that's part of the issue, but I don't think that's really the reason why this one doesn't spin the motor as fast as that one. I think the internal resistance on this one is higher, and honestly, I don't think it's 9 amp hours. If this one is 9 amp hours, that one is not. So, you know, do you get your money's worth? I don't know. I mean, this one isn't three times as, as good, uh, and it is triple the price. But it is, well, we know it's at least 50% better because this one doesn't hold as uh, much of a charge. I was able to get 50% more cycles on the air compressor out of the Ryobi battery. Your mileage may vary. I think I'm going to return this one to Amazon where I got it. Thank you for watching.